And this is Tech Talk Radio. I'm Andy Taylor. And of course, the show that talks about computers, technology, and the internet. Now, once in a while, I will be somewhere when I, because I always, I always go to the retail stores to take a look at some of the products that are available on the store shelves and I always say what new technology is coming. And once in a while, I see something and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I love this. And, you know, as you know, I've always been a, a big fan of uh, Western Digital, my passport drives and, you know, what they offer to you, the end user, the consumer to be able to really, you know, secure your data, you know, feel, have that peace of mind that if anything ever happened, you've got a backup. Um, and for the photographer, I have found a device that is absolutely perfect as far as I'm concerned. And Alex Yukel is a product manager with Western Digital and joins with us here on Tech Talk Radio. Tell us a little bit about it. Alex, thanks for coming on the show. Hey, Andy. Thanks for having me. I'm really happy to be here. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, what Western Digital has done when it comes to the My Passport line. They've really made it very mobile. Like it wasn't before. Oh. I mean, it was before, but obviously they've taken it another step. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what we've done is we've taken the My Passport line, which is typically you know hard drive based products, connects to your computer, has lots of storage, um, really secure, so all your files are super safe. And what we've done is we've said, you know what? What if you don't need your computer? What if it just talked directly to your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device? And if it did that, it needs to be battery powered too, right? Mm -hmm. So what we have made is the My Passport Wireless Pro here. Ah, oh, love that. So it's a fully wireless fully battery powered my passports you know we did our segment on television uh this morning and during the segment we only got two minutes to try and try and go oh. through and so we hit the that fact that it has an sd card slot on it we hit the fact mm -hmm. that it could be used as a hot spot um the mm -hmm. fact that you can connect your phone to it without a wi-fi as and use it as an access point but we missed the whole point that it, it is battery powered. And I wanted to make sure that we got you on here to kind of talk to people because that was one of the things that people asked for, something they could take in the field with them while they're taking photos and have it battery powered. Oh, yeah. Well, this one, the My Password Wireless Pro in particular is really cool because, as you know, if you're taking, if you're going on a photo shoot or you're on a trip, you are taking so much stuff with you. You're taking, obviously, change of clothes and all that good stuff. But in your camera bag, you've got your cameras lenses, tripods, filters, flash units, reflectors maybe. And you can take so much stuff with you, especially if you have a lot of gear. And then on top of that, you need to bring, and on top of all your capture gear, you also need to bring your laptop, the charging brick, maybe an adapter so you can plug in cards or USB drives. You probably just need to bring a hard drive because if you bring a really light laptop, you still need to you know have storage for that. Right. You probably want to have a lot of storage. And so the really cool thing with my password wireless pro in addition to being you know wireless and battery powered is that it can actually replace all of that compute gear in your backpack if all you really want to do is just make sure your photos are safely protected if you just want to be able to view them and then actually begin to even edit them in your favorite third-party editing app you can do that with my password wireless pro you actually don't need to bring the computer with you on a trip anymore you can do it all from just this little you know guy right here yeah and that's been really the cool. thing that's been the thing too really is is if you wanted to transfer say you were out taking photos and you wanted mm -hmm. to transfer them off the sd card that are part of the the camera you'd have to you know plug it into a laptop hook it up you know hopefully you had a power source hopefully it still had battery and then be able to to transfer them that way um even the the what i love is the fact is that western digital didn't come up with one solution that one solution being just the ability to transfer from here to a to a my passport you came up with several solutions for the end user and i mean that really kind of starts with that sd card uh, slot that's a part of that yep exactly so exactly so you can take a sd card out of your camera right there so i've got a camera here to get the sd card slot and then just right there just slips in so easily right into the side right there now, Pops once in. once somebody does that, mm -hmm. then what happens uh, with the data that's on the SD card? Do they have to? Uh, how do they get it to move from there to the to the actual storage right. platter? So, once it's powered on, you put in your SD card. There's this really nice one touch button right on the top. It's right next to the SD card, so you know exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. Once the SD card's in there and the drive's booted up, it takes about thirty seconds. You just push and hold that one touch button, and everything is copied over directly to the drive inside. Um, these little LEDs up top, if you hit once, it'll show you battery, but also will show you progress. Um, that'll actually show you the progress of how your cards are, how your cards are being copied over. 
So you don't need to connect with your phone to see, hey, where's that progress bar? How much do I have left? Um, you can just pop in the card, hit the button, and then just watch it copy over over here. When it's done, power off the drive, and you can know that all your photos and videos are backed up safely, safely on the drive inside. Now, at that, really at that point, would somebody then delete the photos that are already on that SD card? Or uh, how do you mm -hmm. know that they're, they actually have been transferred? So uh, after you try the device a few times, you'd see that it's definitely transferring all your photos. Right. Like I, when I first tried this, we well, had the same question. But after the first three, four, five times, I'm like, okay, I can trust that everything's being copied over. But if you want to check, is you know, I think that's probably the right call for most users. You just connect to this guy with the wireless. So this guy has its own wireless hotspot. So it has its own Wi-Fi network that puts out. It can take your, in this case, your phone, your iPad, whatever, and just connect directly to it over Wi-Fi. And you can see, access it with our MyCloud app. And you can see all of your content right there. You can oh. stream your wireless. You can stream your 4K videos wirelessly using the iPhone or iPad. So they, they'd actually users. they'd actually be able able to using the MyCloud app be able to look and see. Oh, there's that set of pictures I just took. Exactly. Once you know that they're safely on that drive, then you could reuse that that SD card and then mm -hmm. be able to yep. to repurpose that. Now, as far as hooking that up as an access point, you do not need. <laughs> a Wi-Fi connection. So if you're out in, you know, the middle of the Sonoran Desert, like we have here, uh, and you decide you want to go ahead and, and connect, you then just directly connect like you're connecting to a to a Wi-Fi hotspot, exactly. and then you're able to see what, what's on there. Exactly, yeah. Uh, my Password Wireless Pro has its own wireless hotspot. Um, it's password protected out of the box too, so only you can access it really. Um, connect to it, you can see all of the content on the drive, your photos and videos, and stream them all, and it's, you don't need to have internet, you don't need to have cellular, it's completely self-contained right here. And could you also uh, connect to some of your other sources, like uh, we have so many that are available, now Dropbox and mm -hmm. you know uh, OneDrive, et cetera, you could also connect to those and upload to those oh, yeah. directly from that? Definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. So using the MyCloud app, you can uh, connect to the My Password Wireless Pro first over here. So first you want to power on your phone, connect to the My Password Wireless Pro over Wi-Fi. And then from there, within My Password Wireless Pro, you can actually then connect to another Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's say I'm at home or I'm at Starbucks or some other coffee shop. Um, I can connect to this guy and I can connect to the hotspot in that location and it, it'll actually pass through the internet. So I can actually have both, you know, I can do Google searches, have my email right here. And I can also have it, um, full access to the drive. And then that's how I can also upload photos to Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, Amazon, sorry, not Amazon, uh, Adobe Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud, it's yeah. Really, really cool, yeah. Yeah, one of the things I, I, again, I talked about the fact that, you know, Western Digital has not taken a product that is just, okay, here's for copying onto your backup and that, that you know, that's mm -hmm. what it does. Uh, mm -hmm. This is an access point. It has an SD card reader. But I'm also a big fan of Plex. And mm -hmm. I, I, you know, the, the thing is, is you, you, after a while, if you take all your digital content and you decide, okay, I'm going to put it somewhere, I found that I was putting mine on the drive that was on top of my computer, and when I shut my computer off, it goes to sleep. I can't right. access it. With this, you can actually hook it up directly to a router or use it in the Wi-Fi in the home and use it to stream your Plex content to your devices if uh, somebody has a Plex account. Exactly. So you can actually, this is actually its own self-contained Plex server. So... Uh, some of more advanced users will go into a set of Plex, and then this will do all of the organization. It'll tag everything. Once you're connected to the internet, it'll also bring down all of the, um, in some cases, the cover art, the synopses, or the information about the videos or music you have. Mm -hmm. And it'll just have it really beautifully organized for you. I really love it. It's a great idea. And you've offered it in quite a different uh, variety of sizes and different price points as well. Mm -hmm. And I believe it starts out at one terabyte, but it can go all the way up to four. Oh yeah, so we actually announced over here, uh, we announced the four terabyte capacity just like maybe I think three or four months ago. Right. And so we started, yeah, we announced the one TB and the four TB a few months ago. Um, it's actually a one four now for the one terabyte, which is, I mean, honestly great for a lot of photographers, uh, for weekend trips, weekly trips. If you want to take your whole library with you and always have access to all of your contents, um, the four terabytes is perfect. If you're shooting a lot of drone video, Mm -hmm. um, drone video, I don't know if you know, it takes about 30 gigabytes per hour of storage. And if that is that so, a 4K even? I think I think it's even a little more at 4K. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, so, yeah so 4K is about 30 gigabytes per hour. Um, 
you can go up even higher actually with some of this you know, really dense, you know, high de um, high dynamic range HDR color depth, which takes even more storage per hour. Now I noticed um, that so out there filming. I yeah. noticed there's, there's a, a USB 3.0 connector, which is also used mm -hmm. as a charging device. Does that allow for fast throughput to a USB 3.0 connected laptop? Uh, absolutely. So you can plug this into your laptop, and it works just like a normal My Passport. Excellent. So stuff. you're in the field. You can offload all your videos and photos to it. Take it back home. And let's say you want to use a desktop editing app. Great. Plug it into your computer, and you're ready to go. Great. So you can use it really as a true external drive. You could use it as a drive on the go. Uh, and if our listeners want to get more information, they could certainly hit up uh, Western Digital's website. They'd have it there. Are there other products that you've been working on in the Mac, My Passport line? Because I know it's it's been oh, yeah. pretty expansive. Oh yeah, it's we've got a lot of really cool stuff, especially for My Passport. So. Um, if we think about it, especially the create workflow for photographers and videographers, the way we think of it is you're in the field, you want to protect your content, you want to back it up, you want to see it, and probably even begin to start, edit, start to edit it. Um, I was actually on a trip this past weekend. I went to go shoot the Milky Way because it was a great weekend to shoot the Milky Way. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I went out, I did all my shooting for a couple of hours, got back to my car, plugged in my car, saw everything, copy over, did some quick checks on my phone, saw that I got the shots I wanted, head back home. And I was back home, I had this great drive. But as you guys know, it's hard drive based and it's great. But anything on an SSD, for instance, is really, really cool. It's really fast. Um, and so what we've done is we've actually created this project over here called My Passport SSD. Oh, I love so, it. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It actually is this small. You can see that it fits in the you know, palm of my hand almost. Great. It's very, very small, very, very thin, and it's all. SSD. It's 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 so light in your hands. It's, it's pretty remarkable how light and skinny and portable this guy is. Yeah, but the uh, you uh, know little... that that's one great thing about it, Alex. But come on, the the, the thing that gets me mm -hmm. about it, it's so much safer. Yeah, how many drives they and the drives are good, but you know they can only accept too much. And if it drops down your leg and your knee hits it, then your foot kicks it. It's goodbye drive. Mm -hmm. But with the SSD technology, which I keep telling everybody, jump to SSD, right. make the switch. Um, it's it's certainly the the way to go. Um, they're they're going to be a lot safer with this, and of course, a lot lighter. Oh yeah, I mean, and to your point about dropping it, this guy can survive a drop of over one meter. So if you drop this, if you kick it by accident, it does over one meter. You're fine. Like yeah, this has a great drop tolerance. I love I tolerance. love that technology. So for our listeners who don't know, SSD means. Basically, no moving parts. It's it's not a hybrid drive. It's no moving parts. Electric. It's it's you know flash type base memory, uh, and you don't have a platter, which a traditional platter, which moves back and forth. Exactly. It's all solid base. So bumps, drops. It's be much more uh, durable versus a hard drive fly will be, especially if it's running. Now, Alex, how are you doing as far as uh, when it comes to the, the capacities? Because I know SSD traditionally has been smaller capacities. Do you see that kind of growing? Do you see that we're going to see larger capacities with this technology? I mean, if you look in the market, there's a lot of um, examples where you see companies stacking uh, SSDs together, do, do some technology demos. Um, just for instance, our SD card, so the um, SanDisk, we've actually done proof of concept at 512 gigabytes on a single little SD card. So, um, yeah, I think you can see more. It's just a matter of how people are using technology and how they're, what they're creating. Right now, this little guy, the My Passport SSD, goes up to one terabyte in size. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. A ton of capacity, right? <laughs> yeah. On SSD. Got to love that. Exactly. And fits in your pocket, too, which I love. Great. Now, what are, what are those uh, retailing for right now? Do you know? Oof, I believe the one, the, so this guy starts at 250 gigabytes for $99 right now. Right. And I believe you can find it in all your favorite places. You can definitely check Western Digital or WDC.com rather uh, to buy one directly from us or to find a you know, retailer near you that also has one. But for 250 gigabytes to have, you know, 99 bucks worth of SSD in your pocket is pretty fantastic it's pretty phenomenal now for those uh really serious photographers that are out there mm -hmm. that are taking lots of photos lots of video uh mm -hmm. videographers now are just you know they're just they used to love it when it was vhs then it went digital and they were like oh this is great <laughs> and now they're like i need more hard drive space uh -huh. um you have other options as well i know one of the largest is the the my cloud drives that are oh, out yeah. there uh those are just amazing in the capacities that they have what i and i think they're 
I lift this guy up here. You got that one there? Take a look at this guy. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. This is the bad boy. <laughs> oh, this I like it. Right here. You know, you used to be, you used to get a 10 megabyte drive that, that was size, <laughs> that size in the old days. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. This guy is a beast. So it actually has an Intel Pentium CPU inside. Uh, it's got four gigabytes of RAM. It can do this really cool thing called transcoding, which is where you can have a 4K video. So let me, let me get this other big boy over here. All right. Here's, here's my personal drone right here. Oh, look at that. So you actually do, that's beautiful, right? You can film 4K video on this guy back to the MyCloud Pro and load it up on the MyCloud Pro. But let's say I want you know see that video in the field. I want to share it with someone who maybe doesn't have a great internet connection. For them to try to stream a 4K video from my MyCloud Pro, right? it'd be really, really hard. So in addition to this being network connected, so you can see you can plug it in right here into the back of your router by one of these oop, Ethernet ports right there. You can plug it into the back of your router. Right. Uh, you can load up your all your 4K content on here. And then this guy, in addition to being accessible from outside the house, it's a my cloud, it's a cloud that you personally own and control. Um, in addition to that, this can also take that 4K video and make it into a uh, size and format that can be streamed anywhere. So you can basically watch anything anywhere with all the power you have in this MyCloud Pro. So if you want to stream it to your tablet, your phone, to yep. uh, maybe, again, a Plex. I think that's uh, Plex enabled too, yep. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So we, we're doing the 4K, or sorry, we're doing this transcoding um, by a Plex. So all those super high-res 4K or HD videos, to stream them anywhere you are, it's uh, being done with Plex and the MyCloud Pro. Excellent. Now, well, I did get a question uh, while we're doing a show just now about Mac compatibility on the uh, uh, My Passport Wireless. Um, and I understand right out of the box, people are going to be able to use because it's XFAT format. They're going to be able to use Correct. both for Mac and for PC. Mm -hmm. Yep, you plug this into your Mac or PC, and it'll just pop up. There's no reformatting needed. You plug it in, and you're good to go. Excellent. Well, I tell you what, it's always great to see what's available. A great new product again. This is geared at pretty much anybody i mean but however the mm -hmm. focus for photographers is really a great focus because again with that sd card capability be able to to easily transfer your data i don't think i can't tell you how many times if i and i i've shot weddings before mm -hmm. and i use sd cards out of uh the jvc camera we have right. and it fills up so i've got mm -hmm. to pull that card out pop another one in and i could save time and safety because if you lose that one card you probably yeah, the whole day. <laughs> you've messed up a whole day and you've ruined somebody's wedding uh, wedding memory. So this way you put it right in the drive, copy it over. At least you have the safety to know it's backed up and it's secure. And there's one more thing with the My Password Wireless Pro, Andy. It's yeah. really cool. So we have this uh, you know computer port right here so you can talk to your, have it checked on your computer, right. power um, off, one touch offload. This guy right here, um, I'm not sure showing up in the you camera. hold it up just a little higher. That's yeah, little perfect. Juicy. A little USB port right there. Hopefully it's showing up there. Yeah. There's a little USB port right there. So this guy, let's say you don't shoot on a SD card. Let's say you're you know, a photographer that shoots the larger compact flash. What's really cool is you can plug that compact flash card reader into there. And ah. all of a sudden, you can also pull over all your videos from, or videos from compact flash. Or let's say you shoot XQD or some other format. Perfect. Plug in the reader right there. You can read it all. So if you have really, really cool. if you have other devices that like a USB type device etc you can plug that in and of course copy that over exactly. like the the other product uh, we showed this morning was the SanDisk that has the iPhone connector the lightning jack so you can easily right. transfer stuff so that's again a, another nice way you could use that product Oh it's a lovely way to use it. you back up your iPhone and you plug it in here so you actually have two backups on the go you can access it wirelessly and you make sure that let's say even if your iPhone takes a swim you're still going to have everything backed up, at least on the eye expand and here is really great way to protect everything. Now on the um, on the actual the the iPhone, of course, I, I've been able to test that out. I haven't been able to test it out yet on the Android. Uh, does it also work uh, the MyCloud? Obviously, the app works for the Android devices. Uh, MyCloud, yeah. So MyCloud works for both uh, iPhone and iPhone, iPad, and Android. So you can access anything anywhere. Very cool. Great stuff. Again, Alex Yukel, thank you so much for spending some time talking to us. We look forward to talking to you again really soon. And uh, again, this is a great product from Western Digital. Oh, thanks so much, Andy. Thanks for, thanks for taking the time to speak with me. And we'll be back with more of Tech Talk Radio coming up next.